Hey, this is a protest skirt. Hang around to see how I did it and what it looks like in action. Who will survive in America? Who will survive in America? Who will survive in America? Hiya, welcome to Noble Logic. This is my DIY tribute to all of those that protested on the Women's March, January 21st, 2017. The original idea behind this project was to make a wearable protest sign. I wanted it to look handmade and hand-drawn like protest signs do. There was so much social media coverage of ongoing protests that gathering signs and slogans was easy and most of the time highly amusing. The, uh, the ever perennial hands too small to build a wall. <laughs> I did it. I get a kick out of that one. I wrote most of the slogans on scraps of silk Georgette to be hands sewn directly onto the skirt. In the spirit of recycling, these skirts uh, from a thrift store, $5, I believe. It's wool and lined. I think it's a Uniqlo. The slogan soon turned into little stories or vignettes that added texture and interest to this project. While attempting to stick to a specific colour palette, I made a point of using varied mediums and materials. Gotta be honest, I've taken a lot of inspiration from the Pussy Hat Project in that they sought to use traditional feminine methods and materials and pink, which is a very traditional female colour. So right front and centre I've got a pink glitter chevron. Traditionally a chevron is something that's used on army uniforms but pink glitter chevron to me represented a women's collective, a women's army. Pussy Hat Project. What an ingenious idea. Such a simple beanie to create but it captured the imagination of so many people. This embodied the Women's March. The very first stencil I put on was Evolve in pink because I felt like this march was about women's rights regressing. Right in the back here, I've got 1968 is calling, don't answer. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. A reimagining of the Stars and Stripes here. Uh, we hear the slogan that says, we need a strong leader, not a nasty tweeter. Obviously, Trumpy's tweeting habit. <sighs> So Gucci's doing a lot of bows at the moment, couldn't leave that out, there it is, um, and its little ties are a love Trump's hate, gotta make that as pretty as possible. Down the bottom here in holograms, I can't gas like this, it's an iron on, it's a great slogan. Black glitter hand holding uh, signs in a flower. Just the hopes for peaceful protests. ID must be carried at all times. This, uh, to me, this is a representation of um, monitoring certain sections of society. More slogans. Fight like a girl. So here I've got a copper glitter stencil with a woman uh, with a shopping cart. Then she's being distracted by beautiful red butterflies with Trumpisms on them. My favourite quote from Donald Trump here is the worst thing a man can do is go bald. The freedom of speech is something that I feel truly grateful for and that's something we can't regress on. We can't let this be attacked. Hey, 
Hey, thank you so much for watching Noble Logic. I know this one was a long one, but hopefully you enjoyed it. I have put a detailed list of all the materials I've used in the description. Love your music, Emlyn. Thanks, Asta, for modeling my skirt in Grand Central Station with all those people. Bye. Bye.